You need to know this if you want to get an A in geometry, number two. Let's say that we have two lines and a line going through those two lines. The line going through those two lines is called a transversal. Remember that alternate interior angles are angles that are inside the two lines and opposite the transversal. Therefore, angles C and F are a pair of alternate interior angles. Angles D and E are another pair of alternate interior angles. If the two lines are parallel, like in this situation, then each pair of alternate interior angles is congruent. So, angles C and F are congruent, and angles D and E are congruent. Now, remember that alternate exterior angles are angles that are outside the two lines and opposite the transversal. So, angles A and H are a pair of alternate exterior angles, and B and G are another pair of alternate exterior angles. Similar to alternate interior angles, if the two lines are parallel, like in this situation, then each pair of alternate exterior angles is congruent. So, angles A and H are congruent, and angles B and G are also congruent.